Okay, so the next sign that is going to get their general love reading will be Pisces again. Okay, Pisces, see, you keep coming out at me now. And I feel like, you guys, I'm going to post this video again because I really didn't like that first one I just did, but I will post the both of them. So hopefully you guys will see um, more different alternatives. But if the same card repeats again, you guys, I have no control over it. Uh, Queen of Swords right here again. As you see, I am going to do the same thing for you guys that I just did. And yes, yeah, see at the very top, Cancer Scorpio Pisces card. And there is something here, but I also see the Two of Cups. Maybe someone's dealing with a court issue right now, or maybe a Libra. Or maybe just falling in love, but there is a minor setback. And delays, travel, movement. Um, let's see what this is. I feel like there's communications with an air sign that's a little bit off-putting. Okay. Maybe dealing with an Aries. I feel like the same cards are coming out. Yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Very strong. You can see. <clears throat> Maybe an Aries. Okay. How you guys are currently seeing yourself, magician. How your partner is seeing themselves, the hangman. You guys are trying to manifest something. You guys have the power of the tools to create whatever you wish and want to manifest. I feel like you guys got yourself out of a situation that seemed impossible. Or, you know, you just feel like you, anything is possible with your partner. And they, you know, there was a little bit of staying stagnant, but they're coming to making a decision and putting action and motives into whatever it is that they have to do. You guys have the card here of karma here. And feeling like that in the cold. There is someone you guys are leaving behind or your partner's doing that. Or there is something going on with their finances. Or feeling like, you know, emotionally left out. But the secret on your side is I feel like you guys aren't able to take action right now even though you know you can't. <clears throat> you can create things, but however... Um, I feel like you guys did something in the past, but right now you're staying a little bit stuck. Uh, you had, there were more actions, I mean, a magician is definitely an action card, but, uh, I feel like with Hermit, this person goes inwards, introspective, searching, you know, trying to study <clears throat> before taking actions, learning all there is to know before anything, um, takes off, or, you know, just planning for proper, for better preparations, but coming to you guys is that you guys do have strong emotional feelings, for your partner, or this is the beginning of the relationship. Page of Cups, tender emotions. You guys do have somebody here that you guys strongly care about, emotionally tied with, and it could be, be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and uh, Virgo so far. I saw Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Fire Signs. There was an offer that was made in the recent past in Knight of Cups. This is the start of a new romance. This is, you know, Falling in love. This is actually the card of when you're doing a love reading. This is what I want to see. <clears throat> feel like your partner was a little bit more confused about the relationship than you guys were. And you guys took the initiative to really get this relationship to where it is. Um, but right now, there is a sense of confusion. Two options, a choice, and maybe a path. Someone is unable to see clearly about what to do. And this could be... You know, because there is a delay, there's a waiting period of some sort, and they can't decide on something. They're feeling like, you know, um, a little bit forced and a little bit distressed with all of these cards that I'm seeing. But ending of conflicts is kind of what your, your partner's secret is. And there is going to be... Um, <clears throat> A lot of happiness on your financial point of view. Uh, there is going to be someone that is going to be financially independent. Um, they're going to be, you know, very, you're going to feel self-reliant, very successful for their past efforts. This could be you or your partner. 
But, okay, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, fire signs. And you guys will receive a favorable news. And, okay, for those of you guys who are dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or maybe a Gemini, you guys, I feel like this is this group here. I'm reading for Pisces the second time. I'm kind of getting an idea. You guys are breaking off into four different Pisces here. <clears throat> There's all these signs keep coming out, so I just want to go ahead and say it. From what I see first, you had a lot of strength. Strength was required for you guys to do something to be able to make this relationship come together. You had two major arcanas to support what you guys did. I feel like you guys met the one. This could be a twin flame. Um, any symbol right here, but it could have been Leo, a Taurus, a Gemini, or another water sign. But someone was unable to get things going on your partner side from the past. They were falling a little bit um, behind and, you know, taking action. But there's here of an ending that's approaching you guys, or maybe a Scorpio or a Virgo is on your mind. Could be also Capricorn. Someone's battling through something that's toxic to them. It's no longer um, good for them, and but they are still holding very tightly onto it. This could be sex, drugs, alcohol, codependency, whatever it is. Someone's unable to let go of a situation that they know it needs to end. And they're having trouble deciding what to do. But what's coming to you guys, and you guys will both share this, there is a sense of putting up your walls, feeling a little bit on guard, but they're going to be very self-reliant. I feel like both of you guys are coming into the state of, like, um, very, like, you know, successful. There's a lot of battles, you know. There's death, there's shadow side, there's darkness, there's, like, going introspective, there's, like, going within all of this needing strength somebody here was dealing with an issue you guys can't even imagine but I kind of understand but so I kind of understand why they're so on guard now but there is going to be sus self-reliance independence coming to you guys and for most of you guys this is going to come to you guys because this came out on your part page of cups and page of pentacles love and financial um things are going to look on the up and up for you on your partner's side, I feel like, yeah, for what they <laughs> went through, um, and avoiding conflicts, still a little bit mentally disturbed by something. I feel like, because they, you know, right here, I feel like your partner here has to deal with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but there's somebody that's going to make a decision to cut someone out. <clears throat> you guys do have the ending here. But... This is on your partner's side. For a few of you guys, you guys are the ones leaving behind maybe a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Capricorn. Or an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you guys are starting on this new beginning. You guys are healing after a period of not seeing things happen for you, but it's all changing. Right after this, going introspective, this is like I'm reading for someone who's going through major life events right now, something that was very difficult for them, so I totally feel for them. And they're healing, having to heal. The star is recovery after a tragic ending. And as you can see, there was failure. And it could be specifically with a Virgo or a Capricorn. But I feel like um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo are all in here. That's crazy. And that the full came out again. Okay. Yep. Okay. And the same card repeated again. Death and rebirth. There was a loss on somebody's side. King of Wands came out again. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Someone had to make a judgment, so a decision, put an ending to a cycle, and not ever look back. And this was on your partner side. Could have been with Capricorn, a Virgo, 
or Taurus. All specific earth signs are in Pisces reading right now. It's pretty crazy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but what's coming to you guys is your wish card. Happiness and joy and getting everything you wish, you want and desire. Because uh, <clears throat> I also saw a magician in the last reading for Pisces. So I feel like something is changing. That's why I'm really happy I pull this Pisces card for you guys again. There is going to be a new beginning. Someone's leaving behind something. And they're holding on to their power, not being swayed by others. I feel like someone was a victim of something and it was not very um, pleasant. But all of this is changing for you guys, Pisces. I feel like it's your partner that's going to have to deal with the loss. But on for most, for some of you guys, um, your partner was dealing with something. If you weren't dealing with something a little bit more dramatic, then it was your partner. Whoever it was... They have the judgment card, and a lot of happiness is coming to them. And you guys will receive also favorable news. And tender emotions and a fresh new beginning in love. Okay, because you guys have strong emotional feelings for this partner, and there's this new beginning here again. All right, you guys, I really hope this helps, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.